Greetings and welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we have Vivo Y200 Pro 5G smartphone and in this video I'll show you some amazing tips and tricks and hidden feature of this smartphone. So watch till the end and enjoy this video. In this smartphone you can easily use two applications at the same time. Let me show you how you can do this. Simply open any app and then use this gesture swipe up by using your three fingers. Now select the second app you want to use. As you can see, you will be able to use two applications at the same time in a single screen. If you are using your phone with a single hand, then it feels really uneasy to reach at the top and open this control panel. But there is a gesture by which you can easily open this. Simply tap and hold on the home screen and then click on home settings. Scroll down and then click on swipe downwards on home screen. By default, it is selected to global search. You have to select notification center. Now whenever you are on home screen, simply swipe down on the empty area and it will open your control center. So that's how you can enable this gesture. You can also enable this double tap to lock and double tap to turn on your screen gesture. Simply open your settings, scroll down to the bottom and then click on shortcut and accessibility. Scroll down and then click on smart motion. There you will see the option of smart screen on off. Enable double tap to wake and also enable double tap to turn off. By default, these two options are disabled. Now come to your home screen and then double tap on the empty area. It will lock your screen and double tap and then it will wake it up. You can also enable this shake to turn on your flashlight and turn it off. To enable this, simply open your settings, scroll down to the bottom and then click on shortcut and accessibility. Scroll down and then click on smart motion. There on the bottom, you will see the option of shake to turn on the flashlight. By default, this is disabled. Enable this. Now whenever your phone is locked, simply turn it on and then shake it like this and turn on your flashlight. If you want to turn it off, simply press your power button. It will turn it off. So you can enable this feature fast torch. If you want to monitor your real time internet speed in the smartphone, you don't have to download any third party app. Simply open your settings, scroll down and then click on click on display and brightness. Scroll down and then click on status bar. There you will see the option of show real time network speed. Simply enable this and then it will start showing your internet speed in your status bar. In same status bar setting, you will see the option of battery style and percentage. By default, this phone doesn't show your battery percentage. So you have to enable this. There you will see the option of display outside battery. Simply click on this and then it will start showing your battery percentage in your status bar. As this phone comes with curved display, there is a feature of ambient lighting or edge lighting. You can enable this. This looks really cool. Simply open your settings, scroll down and then click on dynamic effects. There you will see the option of ambient light effect. Click on this. You can enable this for music. It will remain open for one minute. You can also enable this for incoming calls. So it will show that cool edge lighting on the edge of the smartphone when any call will come. You can also enable this for notification or you can select any app for which you want to use this edge lighting. For example, if you use WhatsApp, you can enable this for WhatsApp. So you can enable this edge lighting effect in your smartphone. In this smartphone, you can easily hide any application without downloading any third party app. Simply open your settings. Scroll down and then click on security. Scroll down there, you will see the option of privacy and app encryption. Firstly, you have to set a privacy password. You can set a six digit password or you can set a different password type. You can select pattern alphanumeric or four digit. Now draw your pattern and then confirm your pattern. Now you have to answer two security questions and after this click on done. Now click on app hiding. Firstly, enable view hidden apps. It will show all the apps which are installed in your smartphone. Now select the app you want to hide. For example, I want to hide my Facebook. Now click on this don't remind me again and then click on confirm. Now you will see in your app drawer there is no Facebook. Now to access your hidden app simply come to your home screen and swipe up by using two fingers. Draw your privacy password and then it will show your hidden apps. So that's how you can hide any app in the smartphone. You can also lock any app in the smartphone. Open your settings. Scroll down and again click on security. Scroll down to the bottom and then click on privacy and app encryption. Firstly, you have to set a privacy password as we have already done this. Simply draw your pattern and then click on app encryption. Now it will show all the apps which are installed in your smartphone. Select the app you want to lock. For example, I want to lock my files. Simply click on this. Now whenever you will open your files, it will ask for that privacy password. So that's how you can lock any app in the smartphone. You can also hide any photo or video in the smartphone. Simply open the albums app. Select the photo you want to hide and then click on these three dots. There you will see the option of hide. Click on this. Then check this don't remind me again and then click on hide. 
Come back now to access your hidden photo, simply click on settings and you will see the option of hidden photos. But right now it will show your photo without any privacy password. To enable your privacy password, simply check this option verify password when hidden photos. And now whenever you will open your hidden photo, it will ask for that privacy password. So that's how you can hide any photo or video in this smartphone. You can also change this three button navigation to gesture navigation. Simply open your settings, scroll down and then click on system. There on the top, you will see the option of system navigation. Click on this. By default, it is selected to three button navigation. Select gesture navigation. Now you can go back by swiping from the corner of the screen. If you want to open your recent app, simply swipe from the middle bottom and hold it there. And if you want to come to your home screen, then simply swipe up from the middle bottom. This phone also comes with smart sidebar feature. Simply open your settings, scroll down and then click on shortcut and accessibility. There you will see the option of smart sidebar. Click on this and then enable smart sidebar. Now you will see a transparent bar on the right side of the screen. Now to open your sidebar, simply swipe to the left and it will open your sidebar. So with the help of this, you can easily access your favorite apps. You can also edit this, click on this little arrow and then click on edit. Now select the app you want to add to the sidebar or if you want to remove any app, then simply click on this minus icon. After this, click on done. Now, whenever you are using your phone as usual and you want to open any app, then swipe to the left to the sidebar and select the app you want to open. It will open it in floating window. So it will remain on the screen like this. You can also drag it anywhere and you will be able to use your phone as usual and your another application will remain on the floating window. So you can enable this one to access your hidden apps very efficiently and conveniently. You can also enable auto call recording in the smartphone. Simply open your dialer and then click on these three dots. Click on call settings. There you will see the option of call recording. Now there are three options. You can select anyone. You can select the don't record automatically record all calls or you can select the record custom calls here select record all calls check this one and then click on agree now it will record all your calls automatically in the smartphone you can secretly record any conversation with the help of next feature simply open your settings scroll down and then click on shortcut and accessibility again scroll down there you will see the option of quick action by default, it is selected to turn on or off flashlight, but you have to select the record audio button. Now, whenever your phone is logged, simply long press your volume down button, then it will start recording the conversation. As you can see here, it is recording the audio. So with the help of this feature, you can record any conversation very secretly. 